very proud what we have achieved in the past. I've had the people. Free education belongs to the EFM. Water is very scarce in this country. There are very few pockets that have plenty of water, but by and large, the way we survive is by being highly innovative. 50% of all of that water lies in only 8% of South Africa's land mass. So we have a very few small strategic areas that provide our water. The drought has stripped the dam, leaving behind it a barren area filled with tree stumps and sand. You would think that a country as dry as ours, the 30th driest country in the world, would in fact use a lot less than that. No, our number is 273 litres per person per day. We don't have a choice. We must defeat day zero. 50 litres per person per day. What we have been engaging on is to find solutions for the short to medium that can also survive going into the long term. We have had very major drought episodes in the last 20 years, major drought episodes. For us, as the South African government, have got to take certain necessary steps to be able to ensure that we do not have a dry 2030. This morning, the Water Crisis Coalition... We need the water, we can't stay without water. We don't have water there. We drink water, we, we drink with cows and the pigs. The DA gets things done. That's why you must vote. So our manifesto is not empty promises. This is your home, this is your land. You must save this land. Who use public resources for their own selfish ends. It has been mismanaged. Even if there's one worst performing uh, department, it's the, it's the water and, uh, and sanitation uh, uh, department. Over the last uh, four or five years, it has uh, effectively uh, paid a lot of money. People have stolen money from the department and no one has been, has been held responsible. We have big problems with our infrastructure. It's not just because they're old. It is because they're not well maintained. It's aging infrastructure. So, you know, whenever anything ages, uh, it, it, will, it will retrogress. So it's the question of the aging of the infrastructure. It's a question of uh, a lack of maintenance and operations. That 37% non-revenue water is worth in excess of 10 billion rands a year. Now, if you were able to manage that and you had 10 billion rands more in your kitty, there's a good deal you can do with it. As a department, for instance, we do have the technical people that are able to take care of the, 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 the issues that we deal with. And we are talking about from the planning phase into uh, the, the actualization through our construction unit, as well as operations and maintenance. We've actually said even before they, they finalized their matter with their director that the other positions that are here needs to be filled as a matter of agency because you need to have people, you have a lot of people who do not have the skills. You can't run in municipalities with people who do not have the skills. We have a, a, a power, power blackout and one of the reasons that is being said is that money that was supposed to be used for maintenance was used for other people and we cannot afford to repeat uh, that particular mistake uh, as it relates to water.
as you go out, you can't find those things. So Offices have six moved. Six million rand was spent. Uh, it was spent. It just wasn't accounted for and uh, recorded. Some was spent recorded, but you can't find the documents. So when they say to you, hey, "We want to look at at these samples, at this and this," and you don't have that information, they can't audit you. That's how audit laws work. They can't audit you, and they give you two days to look for the documents. If you can't find those documents, they're not there. Almost 27 billion uh, uh, irregular, fruitless, wasteful, unauthorized combined with 22 billion for the local government sphere and 5 billion. It, but it's something that we are working on. You would understand sometimes the irregular expenditure doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's, it's corruption at all costs. It's a question of accountability. There's a conquer date, the dam in, in Krisan, which was going to go on, on, on the system last year, and the money dried up, so the budgeting wasn't good. So I promised, I said, we'll be here to launch the dam. It's almost ready. It's just at, at the tail end of, of everything. So I can't promise, I'm not a politician, it's not my job to promise. observed that increasingly we get hit either by drought or disasters which is related to climate change and we need to understand what are the factors and, and, and be able to have the correct state of readiness. South Africa's water resources in 2019 is not too much different from what it has been for the last 10,000 or so years. We are an arid country. We do not have a lack of knowledge. We have loads and loads of patents in the system around new innovations of new technologies to manage water much better and much smarter. We're not short of the technology. What we are short of is the scale up and implementation. The excuse that is usually used is that there needs to be a high investment in new technology. The toilet in your household accounts for 30% of your household water use. And this is not dirty water that you're using, this is purified, clean water that comes from your municipality. With the technology that we currently have, you can instantly save that 30%. But the first barrier that you have around the entry to this thing is that non sewage sanitation in South Africa, the dry sanitation, is actually illegal. So you have to change the regulatory environment. And, and the net result is that we're sitting in a system where the summary statement is that we want to solve a 21st century problem with 20th century technology and 19th century operating. It simply cannot work like that. There was no capacity to deal with the issues fully. So, decision has been taken by the Minister of Death, supported by Cabinet, to have special intervention in 57 municipalities. And one of those municipalities is this particular. Magana's challenge has been capacity. That's what I'm saying. You have to get professional, qualified people to deal with those issues. So they did not have the, the capacity to do the operations and maintenance. The infrastructure that we have now is actually operating basically at full tilt because it is now operating in order to, to uh, benefit a lot more people than what it was originally supposed to. Government bodies have to Well, um, I think I think what we 
are very good at is building relationships with other government departments. Um, they're within each sector of the data that is being collected. There are officials who have continuous and regular meetings with other government departments. There is always a continuous um, effort on us trying to ensure that data is, is being used, that it's uh, seeing the light of day um, in terms of what the public sees, but as well as in, in how it finds its way into the policy space. Magana, I can promise the people of Magana, when we've done with the James Lenyans them, they'll be happier. Wow. Yeah, pardon? In terms of date? I'm not a technician, and technicians have made me lie at some point, so I don't give dates. All of those demands have, have um, uh, uh, obviously sit him on the shoulders of government. Then what is it that needs to be done? But the master plan is meant to create or be a wake-up call for us to be able to understand what are the imperatives.